in this video, let's look at one more aspect of this uh, imposed brain rhythm that I was using to uh, induce high attention in the NeuroSky device. Now, on this particular session, compared to the other ones, because I haven't covered the meditation algorithm that's in the NeuroSky device, I hadn't been focused on that up to this point. So I had none of the other videos deal with the meditation algorithm, but I did record it with the session where I was using magnetic stimulation. And we could see some very interesting things that they are corollaries of each other to a large degree. All right. We know that we have these re relaxation periods here. Here's a relaxation period. Here's a relaxation period from that rhythm. Now, I want you to notice that as the attention goes up, the meditation goes down. Okay, and it's not always the case, but in these distinctive rhythms, well, let's just look at that one graph again quickly, where we have this distinctive brainwave rhythm and then the delta jumps where every other value drops down. It's like a dip in all values, delta jump. That is this area, or, or uh, this area right here. Okay, now you could see that meditation values during that time move upward. Almost in opposite phase, or well, phase I suppose, of the um, attention algorithm. So as attention is low, meditation's high. Tension low or attention high, meditation low. Meditation high, attention low. All across here. Now here they they kind of interweave a little bit during this period. So this might require a little bit of study. But you can definitely see the inverse correlation between these algorithms. That meditation moves upward, attention downward. They kind of mirror each other in an opposite way. That's pretty interesting. So that may show you how to um, increase meditation values from the NeuroSky device as well. And it gives you a little bit of insight into the algorithms that they are corollaries of each other. And that helps us to learn about the NeuroSky device and how to use it in our training seg sections. So I wanted to point that out quickly in this video. Something that I hadn't covered before. We'll deal with the meditation values later as I try to optimize for those. However, I did want to point out this data because this was a very interesting session where magnetic stimulation was artificially, again, I use that term loosely, encouraging the beta rhythm that I found to be um, associated in myself with high attention scores.